Hi everyone, Clarence here at Games Convention 2008 in Leipzig, Germany. In just a few moments, I'll be speaking with one of the game developers on Naruto The Broken Bond to answer some of your community questions. So, let's head on in. Hi, my name is Masako Bashi. I'm a game designer on Naruto The Broken Bond. Thanks for being here with us. How are you enjoying Games Convention so far? Oh, it's great. Uh, the weather's been fantastic. I'm really enjoying Germany and the event itself has been absolutely fantastic. So we have a couple of questions here from uh, the fans on the official forum. So how about we begin with uh, oh, if you can explain a bit of how the tag team gameplay works. Uh, well, tag team gameplay is going to be available both offline and online. Uh, Offline it's going to be part of the journey gameplay, but online it's going to be a two versus two, so a four player tag match online. Uh, you're going to be able to do a lot of different things. Um, first of all, it's, it's a versus mode, so it's going, to be, uh, it's going to be fighting. But you're going to be able to do co-op moves uh, together. So in order to do, execute these co-op moves, uh, the, first, the person that's playing press, presses one button, and the person that is tagging in is going to press another button at a, at a good timing. And uh, in order, when you do that, you're going to be able to tag as well as do a devastating attack to your enemies. Cool. So can you talk a bit about the free roaming environments compared to Naruto Rise of a Ninja? Yeah, uh, we're very happy about this, but uh, in the previous game we had more narrow corridor-like maps. And uh, this didn't really uh, present a lot of explore, ex exploratory opportunities. So what we did was created maps we got rid of corridors entirely, and uh, now the maps have a lot of different kind of routes that you can take, and the maps itself uh, evolve and expand over the course of the gameplay. So there's going to be a lot of places that you're going to be able to explore. Will there be a larger variety of side missions compared to Naruto Rise of a Ninja? Yes, there, there is a, quite a bit of variety. Um, first of all, uh, what's important to note about this game is the fact that we have seven playable characters in the journey. And they all have unique, uh, unique abilities. So the gameplay that is going to be available in the side missions are also going to uh, vary considerably more than the first gameplay. Will there be day and night? Yes, definitely. Some missions take place during the day, while others mission, other missions are going to take place at night. We also have a variety of weather. There's going to be cloudy skies as well as sunny skies. Will we be able to enter buildings? Uh, some buildings, yes, but I can't tell you what yet. <laughs> and uh, finally, will characters move their mouths when they talk? Uh, definitely. Um, one of the things that we really wanted to do for this game was to make sure that all the storytelling aspect was going to be in 3D. So we implemented uh, lip syncing into our game. So every time the characters are talking, their mouth is going to move, and there's also going to be facial animation to express the emotion. Cool. So uh, before we leave, uh, what is the big message that's uh, being communicated here at Games Convention? Uh, the big announcement we had for the Games Convention is the fact that we have Sasuke playable in the journey. Uh, he is going to have a dedicated section in the story that's going to be all about him and his backstory. So uh, what we really wanted to focus when we were telling, this, uh, telling the, the story of episode 80 to 135 is the differences between Sasuke and Naruto and what they're thinking. So in order to really fully express, express that, we made sure that Sasuke was not left out in terms of storytelling. Great. Thank you very much, Masao. Thank you. Uh, everyone, thank you very much for your questions and keep the questions coming on the official forums. Thanks a lot. Thank you.